Question. A primary health care provider prescribed permethrin, Illimit, for a child with a diagnosis of scabies. The nurse should give which education to the parents regarding the use of this treatment. 1. Apply the lotion to areas of the rash only. 2. Apply the lotion to cool and dry skin at least 30 minutes after bathing. 3. Apply the lotion and leave it on for 6 hours. 4. Avoid putting clothes on the child over the lotion. Answer. Option 2 is correct. Permethrin is massaged thoroughly and gently into all skin surfaces, not just the areas that have the rash, from the head to the soles of the feet. Care should be taken to avoid contact with the eyes. The lotion should not be applied until at least 30 minutes after bathing and should be used only to cool, dry skin. The lotion should be kept for 8 to 14 hours, and the child should be given a bath. The child should be clothed during treatment contact at 8 to 14 hours. Questions. The nurse monitors a 5 years old client with burns during treatment for burn shock. The nurse understands which assessment provides the most accurate guide to determine the adequacy of fluid resuscitation. 1. Skin turgor. 2. Level of edema at burn site. 3. Neurological assessment. 4. Quality of peripheral pulses. Answer. Option 3 is correct. Sensorim is an accurate guide to determine the adequacy of fluid resuscitation. The burn injury does not affect the sensorim, so the child should be alert and oriented. Any alteration in sensorim should be evaluated further. A neurological assessment would determine the level of sensorim in the child. Options 1, 2, and 4 would not provide an accurate assessment of the adequacy of fluid resuscitation. Question. The school nurse has provided an instructional session about impetigo to parents of the children attending the school. Which statement, if made by a parent, indicates a need for further instruction? 1. Lesions most often are located on the arms and chest. 2. It is extremely contagious. 3. It is most common in humid weather. 4. It might appear in an area of broken skin, such as an insect bite. Answer. Option 1 is correct. Rationale, impetigo is a contagious bacterial infection of the skin caused by beta-hemolytic streptococci, staphylococci, or both. Impetigo is most common during hot, humid summer months. Impetigo may begin in an area of broken skin, such as an insect bite or atopic dermatitis. Impetigo is highly contagious. Lesions usually are located around the mouth and nose but may be present on the hands and extremities. Question. The mother of a four-year-old child comes to a clinic and tells the nurse that the child has been scratching the skin constantly and has developed a rash. The nurse assesses the child and suspects the presence of scabies. The nurse bases this suspicion on which finding was noted in the assessment of the child's skin. 1. Purple-colored lesions. 2. Thick, honey-colored crusts. 3. Fine grayish red lines. 4. Clusters of fluid-filled vesicles. Answer. Option 3 is correct. Scabies is a parasitic skin disorder caused by an infestation of Sarcopsis scabies, itch mite. Scabies appears as burrows or fine, grayish-red, thread-like lines. They may be challenging to see if they are obscured by excoriation and inflammation. Purple-colored lesions may indicate various disorders, including systemic conditions. Thick, honey-colored crusts are characteristic of impetigo or secondary infection in eczema. Clusters of fluid-filled vesicles are seen in herpes virus infection. Question. The nurse managing a child who sustained a burn injury plans care based on which pediatric considerations are associated with this injury. Select all that apply. 1. Scarring is less severe in a child than in an adult. 2. A delay in growth may occur after a burn injury. 3. An immature immune system presents an increased risk of infection for infants and young children. 4. Infants and young children are at increased risk for protein and calorie deficiency because they have smaller muscle mass and less body fat than adults. 5. The lower proportion of body fluid to mass in a child increases the risk of cardiovascular problems. 6. 
fluid resuscitation is unnecessary unless the burned area is more than 25% of the total body surface area. Answer. Option 2, 3, and 4 are correct. Considerations in the care of pediatric burn victims include the following, scarring is more severe in a child than in an adult. A delay in growth may occur after a burn injury. An immature immune system presents an increased risk of infection for infants and young children. A child's higher proportion of body fluid to mass increases the risk of cardiovascular problems. Burns of more than 10% of total body surface area require fluid resuscitation. Infants and young children are at increased risk for protein and calorie deficiencies because they have smaller muscle mass and less body fat than adults. Question. A healthcare provider prescribed a topical corticosteroid to a child with atopic dermatitis eczema. Which teaching should the nurse give the parent about applying the cream? 1. Apply the cream over the entire body. 2. Apply a thick layer of cream to affected areas only. 3. Apply a thin layer of cream and rub it into the area thoroughly. 4. Avoid washing the area before the application of the cream. Answer. Option 3 is correct. Atopic dermatitis is a superficial inflammatory process involving mainly the epidermis. A topical corticosteroid may be prescribed and should be applied sparingly and rubbed into the area thoroughly. The affected site should be cleaned gently before application. A topical corticosteroid should not be used over extensive areas. Systemic absorption is more likely to occur with the extensive application. Question. The clinic nurse is reviewing the healthcare provider's prescription for a child who has been diagnosed with scabies. Lindane has been prescribed for the child. The nurse questions the prescription if which is noted in the child's record. 1. The child has a history of frequent respiratory infections. 2. The child is 18 months old. 3. The child is being bottle fed. 4. A sibling is using Lindane for the treatment of scabies. Answer. Option 2 is correct. Lindane is a pediculicide product that may be prescribed to treat scabies. It is contraindicated for children younger than 2 years because they have more permeable skin. High systemic absorption may occur, placing them at risk for central nervous system toxicity and seizures. Lindane is also used with caution in children between 2 and 10 years. Siblings and other household members should be treated simultaneously. Options 2 and 4 are unrelated to the use of Lindane. Lindane is not recommended for use by a breastfeeding woman because the medication is secreted into breast milk. Question. The school nurse is doing an assessment of a client with pediculosis capitis, head lice. Which finding shows a child has a positive head check? 1. Maculopapular lesions behind the ears. 2. Lesions in the scalp that spread to the hairline or neck. 3. White sacs attached to the hair shafts in the occipital area. 4. White flaky particles throughout the whole scalp region. Answer. Option 3 is correct. Pediculosis capitis is an infestation of the hair and scalp with lice. The nits are visible and attached firmly to the hair shaft near the scalp. It can be seen in the occipital area. Maculopapular lesions behind the ears or lesions extending to the hairline or neck indicate an infectious process, not pediculosis. White flaky particles are indicative of dandruff. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and watch playlist for more videos.